Verily, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, He has numerous supernumerary angels, and their only duty is to roam around the earth, seeking out and searching for gatherings in which Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala's name is mentioned, where Allah Ta'ala is. When they find such gatherings, the angels sit with those people remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when they sit down, the angels, they fold their wings around each other until they envelop the gathering and cover the whole gathering. To the extent so many angels gather together, around that gathering. Once they've covered the whole gathering with their wings, they continue to fill that space between the gathering and the heavens. And they fill all that space from the gathering all the way up to the first heavens. When the people disperse after remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels ascend and rise up to the heavens. Then the Prophet said, Then Allah Ta'ala, most high and sublime, He asks the angels, although Allah Ta'ala is the most knowing. And in the Sharh of the Hadith, Allah Ta'ala is making the angels witnesses for what He's going to bestow upon His servants. That's why He asks them. He knows about everything and his knowledge is unmatched and unparalleled, but he asks to raise the ranks of his servants. Min aina jittum. He says to the angels and asks them, Where have you come from? Fayaqulun, the angels respond, Jitna min indi ibadin laka fil ard. Yusabbihunaka wa yukabbirunaka wa yuhallidunaka wa yahmadunaka wa yasabunaka. They say, Ya Allah, we have come from amongst your servants on the earth. They were glorifying you by saying Subhanallah and they were exalting your greatness by saying Allahu Akbar and they were attesting to your unity by saying La ilaha illallah and they were praising you by saying Alhamdulillah and they were asking you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Qal wa ma yas'aluni Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala says to the angels and what were they asking of me Qalu yas'alunaka jannatak they say Ya Allah, they are asking of you for your paradise. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, Qal, wa hal ra'aw jannati? Qalu la ay rab. Qala fa kayfa law ra'aw jannati? Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says to the angels, and have they seen my paradise? They say, oh Allah, they haven't seen your paradise. And Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala praising the belief of these people in the unseen. He says, and how would their state have been had they seen my paradise? Then the angels continue saying, Qalu wa yastajirunak. Oh Allah, and they seek protection with you. Qal wa mimma yastajiruni. Allah wa ta'ala asks them, and from what do they seek protection from me? Qalu min narika ya They respond to Allah ta'ala saying, from your hellfire, O oh Allah. They seek protection Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala says, Qala wa hal ra'aw nari. Allah Ta'ala says, and have they seen my fire? Qalu la. They say, no, ya Allah, they haven't. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala again, he praises the iman of the believers in the unseen. He says, fa kayfa law ra'aw nari. And how would the state have been had they seen my fire? Then they say, qalu wa yastaghfirunak. And oh Allah, they are asking for your forgiveness. Qal, the Prophet وسلم, said, فيقول, Allah wa ta'ala says to the angels, Qad ghafartu lahum, wa a'taytuhum ma sa'alu, wa ajartuhum min mastajar. Allah wa ta'ala says to the angels, I have forgiven them, and I have granted them what they have asked of me, and I have granted them protection from what they sought protection. Qal, the Prophet وسلم, said then, يقولون, the angels say, Rabbi fihim fulanun abdul khattaun. Ya Allah, amongst those people remembering you, there was one of your servants who was engrossed in sin. He's not amongst them. 
is not known to be with these people. Innama marra fajalasa ma'ahum. He was passing by them and he decided to partake and sit with them. Qal, the Prophet ﷺ said, Fayaqool, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala says to the angels, Walahu ghafart. And as for that sinning servant of mine, him I have also forgiven him. Humul qawm. These are my people. La yashqa bihim jadisun. Whosoever sits with them shall never be wretched and will not experience any suffering. Allahu Akbar. It's, it, this hadith is sufficient explaining the virtues of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the people who designate and dedicate their time to sit and remember Allah wa ta'ala. Remember this is a hadith mentioned by Bukhari and Muslim and Tirmidhi and Nasai. So this practice of remembering Allah ta'ala, asking him for paradise and seeking protection with him from the fire of hell. This is something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised and he's placed down an extremely great reward for that. The Prophet sallallahu praised such people. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned what Allah wa ta'ala does with these people while they're on the earth. He forgives them as soon as they disperse. He gives them whatever they desire and seek and he grants them protection. And even though a person may not be amongst those people, just because he sat with them and joined them, he shall have forgiveness and that person shall not suffer. So anybody suffering any type of problem, whether it's worldly problem, whether it's emotional, psychological, whether it's financial problems, seek out a gathering where Allah Ta'ala is remembered, join them. And Allah Ta'ala has promised that person shall not suffer. Allahu Akbar. That's the, it's not because of the people, it's because of what they engage in. in. Allah Ta'ala's remembrance. That's how great it is.